God gave Moses some instructions. So this is what he did. Early in the morning, Moses went down to the river and he waited there. After a while, the king of Egypt came along and Moses said, This is what God says. Let my people go for three days into the outback. If you don't, I'm going to send swarms of flies into the palace and into the houses of you, your officials, and all your people. But I'm not going to send the flies to the part of the land where my people, the Israelites, live. That way you will know that I am God. So God sent swarms of flies across Egypt into the palace and the houses of the king and his officials and his people. But there were no flies in the part of the land where the Israelites were living. The king said, Moses, Aaron, you can worship your God, but do it here in Egypt. No, if we make sacrifices to our God here in Egypt, your people will stone us to death. We'll do it God's way and journey for three days into the outback to worship him. All right, make the flies go away. Then you can go and worship your God. But don't go far. Very well. I will pray, and the flies will leave. But you make sure that you're not tricking us again. And Moses prayed, and the flies left. But the king stubbornly refused to listen to Moses and Aaron. Once more, God gave Moses instructions. So Moses went to the king of Egypt and said, This is what God says. Let my people go for three days into the outback to worship me. If you don't, I'm going to send a terrible disease on all of your cattle. But it will not affect the cattle of my people, the Israelites. So God sent a terrible disease on the animals in Egypt, and all manner of animals died. The king of Egypt sent his people to check the situation out. And word came back. All manner of animals have died, but not a single one of the Israelites' animals has been affected. But the king stubbornly refused to listen to Moses and Aaron and wouldn't let the people go. Once more, God gave Moses instructions. So he and Aaron grabbed a handful of soot from a furnace and went to the king of Egypt. And there in front of the king, they threw the soot into the air and it became a fine dust that spread out over Egypt. And everywhere it touched the Egyptians and their animals, they broke out in big festering boils. And God made the king of Egypt stubbornly refuse to listen to Moses and Aaron, just as he'd predicted back at the burning bush.